When we start Nijishiho Kata, we drop back like this. And this is often labelled as an Atoshi Yuki. Now that Atoshi Yuki could be that someone's punching and we're going to drop away from it. And that might give me a reason to shift in with a punch that comes underneath it. But we'd quite like it to do something different. So if we take this kind of proximity, and at this proximity, whether I'm dealing with a grapple, whether I'm dealing with a big right hook, I'm going to stop that, and I'm going to drop this hand back in towards me. And that gives me, effectively, a ridge hand strike to the back of the head. Now, once I've got a ridge hand strike to the back of the head, it's easy to see why I might want to punch underneath that hand, isn't it? So, knowing that we'll be here, I'm going to drop back like this, and then I'm going to shoot this fist through, means that the targets, the proximity, the, um, the, the, the situation makes a lot more sense and kind of prevents them from continuing with their, their uh, pre-programmed attack. So, you know, what pre-programmed attack? He was not going to launch just one punch, which is why this thing has to stop him from continuing. And if you give someone a cloud back there, it probably will, so please be very, very careful in training because uh, this is meant to be for saving your life, not for what you do to your, your mate in class. So this followed by this straight out of Niju Shiho and Niseishi uh, lets us know what we're going to do with this hand other than blocking the punch.